In this lesson, I will show you my favorite websites, which I use very often to download PBR materials. First website is polyhaven.com. This is free website with many textures, HDRI maps, and models. I click on Browse Textures, and here we have PBR materials to download. I will search planks, and I choose weathered brown planks. I click on it, and I will download textures. Firstly, I need to choose resolution. 4K is fine. Then I choose format. I will choose zip. And then, before I download maps, I click on these three horizontal lines. And here I can specify which textures I want to download. I will download Ambient Occlusion Map, AO, and here I have formats. Mostly, I download JPEG files because JPEG is the lightest file, 2 megabytes. For example, PNG is 28 megabytes, so it's much heavier, and V-Ray will work slower. So I prefer JPEG files. I download Ambient Occlusion, Diffuse, Displacement. Here we have normal maps. You can choose DX or GL. For V-Ray, always choose GL. And here we have roughness. Let's see that we don't have glossiness map. Instead of glossiness, I will download roughness. And that's it. I download and wait. It's download, so I right click on the folder, 7-zip and extract to. Then I open folder, textures, and I copy the maps to my folder with maps. Okay, it's here, and here I have maps. Ambient occlusion, diffuse, displacement, normal, and roughness. Now I will show you how to create PBR material with these textures. I go to SketchUp Asset Editor and create new generic material. I will rename it. Then I go to Diffuse tab, click on the texture slot, and choose Layered. To color texture, I upload a map, Diffuse, and to Blending Opacity Multiply, I upload Ambient Occlusion Map. I change Transfer Function to None. OK, and let's take a look. If I uncheck Blending Opacity option, this texture is not as contrastive as it was before. I check this, and it's a little bit more contrastive. It's very subtle change, but the change is visible. That's why we mixed ambient occlusion with diffuse map. OK, I go to previous asset, then I have reflections. Here we have reflection color and reflection glossiness. Let's take a look at the folder. And here I have roughness map. If we have roughness map only, we need to go to SketchUp and change surface control to use roughness. And then to reflection roughness, I upload the bitmap roughness and I go to the previous asset. Then I will change reflection color, but before I do that, I will change the preview from generic, I change it to floor and I can increase reflection color. And let's see that the reflections are more and more visible. I can set it to maximum values and reflections will be the highest. I can change intensity of reflections by changing reflection color. I think that's white color, maximum value is fine. Then I go to bump and here I will upload the map. I click on bitmap and choose normal map. The transfer function is set to none. And here I change mode map to normal map because our map is purple. OK, I will set amount to one because we need a strong bump. That's why I'm not changing amount. OK, let's check the render with these settings. To do this, I right click on the brick, select objects in scene. It's selected. Then I go to new material, right click and apply to selection. OK, and then I go to edit and change the dimensions. Great, and let's check the render. And this is our render. It looks very realistic. We can notice reflections and bump. To create even better material, I will use displacement. To do that, I go to V-Ray Objects toolbar, click on Add Displacement to Selection, 
and it's done. Then I go to Asset Editor, Geometry tab, Displacement. To Displacement, I upload the bitmap, Displacement. And that's all. I change transfer function to none. Then I can change amount. I will leave it as it is. And I keep continuity. That's all. Let's render and see the result. Okay, and that's our result. It looks different. I will compare visualizations. On the left side, we have material without displacement. On the right side, it's with displacement. Let's see that the difference is huge. It's very noticeable. So I think that in this case, it's good to add displacement. The next website with PBR materials, which I use very often, is reawold.com. I don't know how to pronounce it, so maybe it's reawold, reawold. I have no idea, but this is the name. And this website has free and paid materials. If you want to use paid materials, go to pricing. And here we have basic plan or professional plan. And if you want to use basic plan, you need to spend 10 euros per month and you will get 200 credits. And with 200 credits, you can download something around 20, 30 materials. We were using materials from this website on the previous lessons. So I think that we know how to create PBR materials, which are downloaded from this website. The third website, which I really recommend, it's textures.com. It's very popular textures with hundreds or even thousands PBR materials. You can download free or paid materials. If you're interested in subscription, just click on subscribe. And here you have plans. I mostly use starter plan for eight euros per month. You get 1000 credits and with them you can download something around 15 20 materials. If you need more materials, you can choose different plan. And then I go to library and I will type linoleum floor. I click on material and here we have flat maps. We have albedo map, which we will use in the diffuse tab, normal for bump, roughness for roughness, height. This map we can use, for example, for displacement and we have ambient occlusion map. We can choose the size. We have small, medium, large, and extra large size. I mostly use large size. It's enough for me. And I download all the maps. And it's downloaded. I open the folder and I will create material. I go to Asset Editor and create new generic material. I will rename it to Floor Textures. And then to Diffuse Map, I choose Layered Map. To color texture, I will upload albedo map. I go to previous asset and to blending opacity, I will upload ambient occlusion map. I change transfer function to none. Then I go to previous asset and I focus on reflection. In the folder, I have roughness map only. That's why I change surface control to roughness and to reflection roughness, I upload the map. Then I go to reflection color. I can change preview to floor. And I increase reflection color. I can set maximum value. Maybe it's too intense. I will decrease the intensity. Great. I change mode map to normal and I upload purple normal map. I think that this map shouldn't be too intense. That's why I decrease the intensity to 0 0.1, something around this value. And that's it. I think that displacement in this material is not necessary. So I click on Planck's Polyhaven material, right click, select objects in scene. Then I go to floor, textures, right click, apply to selection. And that's all. I can change dimensions, for example, to 20. And it's a little bit smaller. And then I go to displacement, I can turn it off or I can delete it. Right click and delete. Okay, and let's check the render. Okay, and that's our material. It's very reflective and looks awesome. And the last very useful website with PBR material is polygon.com. Here you need to create free account 
and you can use free or paid materials. If you want to use paid materials, you need to subscribe. But now I will show you free materials. They are in very good quality. So it's a good idea to use them. I click on this material fabric. Then I change resolution to 4K. And here I have download settings. I'm not changing anything here. I will leave it as it is. And I download. It's downloaded. Right click 7-zip. Extract to. And I copy these maps to my folder with maps. OK. We have ambient occlusion map, base color, displacement, metallic, normal, and roughness. I will show you how to use these maps. First things first, I need to create material. I rename it. And then I go to diffuse. Again, we know this process to color texture. I upload diffuse. I will do this a little bit faster because it's very similar to previous materials. I choose base color and to blending opacity, I choose ambient occlusion map. I change transfer function to none. Then I go to reflection. Since we have roughness map only, I again change use glossiness to use roughness and upload the map. I set transfer function to none. Our roughness map is white. That's why reflections will be slightly visible. I can set reflection color to maximum value, but let's see that reflections are not changing because reflection roughness map is white. OK, then I have metalness. When we are downloading materials from polygon.com, we can download additional metallic map. Let's say that this map is black. So we don't have to upload this map because it doesn't change anything. This fabric material is not metallic. And that's why our map is black. And if our map is black, it doesn't change anything. If you want to obtain metallic material, this downloaded map should be white or gray. So it's not necessary to upload this map. We can delete it. And then I go to bump. I change mode map to normal. I upload a bitmap, purple map, and then I change amount to 0 0.5. So I want to get quite strong effect. And then I right click on the floor material, select objects in scene. I go to fabric, right click, apply to selection. I can change dimensions, for example, to 30. Great. And I render. And this is our fabric material. It looks fine, but we can improve it with displacement. So I click on the sphere group and I choose add displacement to selection. Then I go to asset editor, geometry tab, displacement, and upload displacement map. I change transfer function to none. I check keep continuity and render. And it's done. We can compare results. On the right side, this is material with displacement. On the left side, with bump only. And we can see the result. But I think that in this case, displacements, I'm not sure if it's necessary because these materials are very similar. Let's create additional material from the website Polygon. It will be free material, but this time I will create metallic one. I click on it, choose resolution, and download. OK, it's done. Let's see that this time metallic map is white, and I will show you the difference. And let's create material. To diffuse, I choose layered map. I choose base color. To blending opacity, I upload ambient occlusion. But I think that in this case, ambient occlusion doesn't change anything. Then I go to reflection. I change surface control to roughness and upload roughness map. Then I change reflection color to maximum value. And then I upload metallic map to metalness. And let's say that material is much different. It's a metallic material. Then I go to bump. I choose normal and upload normal map. I can set amounts. I will set it to 0 0.1, 0 0.2, something around these values. And I right click on fabric material, select objects in scene, and apply to selection. I can delete displacement. It's not necessary. And let's render the scene. 
and this is our metallic material. So in this way, we have created five PBR materials with websites Polyheaven, Reawold, Textures.com and Polygon.com. I use these websites very often.